Okay, I'm pretty psyched about this, so I'm continually improving my uh, gear and setup for all the stuff for the saltwater reef tank. Here is the uh, water filtration system. One day I'll make this all pretty and permanent and mounted, but functionally this is huge improvement of what I had before. So there's the uh, RODI water filtration system. Drains into there. These are like super food grade safe containers. These are uh, supposed to be for transporting hazardous materials and toxic waste. They're approved by the DOT. So this spin shot. See if I can get this out with one hand. Okay, so there's the fresh water. And that's a shutoff valve, float valve. So when it gets up to uh, the top, almost full, it's gonna shut it off automatically. I don't have to worry about it. Just in case, this light's always on. And, well, it's charging right now, but there's a camera that's usually mounted there. That points here, so I can watch this from anywhere from my phone app for the security camera in case anything blows up. That camera also has a sound detector. So if there was like huge explosion of water or something nuts, I get notified on my phone. So that's this guy. Hold on, put this cap back on. So we'll seal this. Oh, and I use a TDS meter to check the water purity. And before I was using some shitty trash barrel from Walmart and that was a big problem. So it was measuring like 21 uh, parts per million of totally dissolved solids. Now this one, after a week of containing fresh water, is measuring zero. It is absolutely spectacular. And then in here, I make big batches of salt water, but I just found out that the salt that I was using uh, does not store well and precipitates out all the uh, insoluble materials. So I'm gonna get rid of this and use it uh, only if I have to do like the same day huge water change. But for now, this setup I got is awesome. So there's a five gallon bucket that's mixing salt water and the pure filtered fresh water right now. I love this bucket that's got that spigot in the top. So inside there is the power head sealed just so nothing gets in there while it's mixing for a couple hours or several hours. This is my water pump that I use only in the fresh, pure, filtered water. So that pump goes in there, and then I siphon the water into here, mix the salt. At one point, uh, before I put it in the tank, I'll put the heater in there to bring it up to the exact temperature of my uh, tank upstairs. And, oh, this is pretty cool. So this is the, uh, the salt that I use. This one, yeah, I just found out this one doesn't store well, and I have been storing tons of it. But I get it on these wheels. Oh, and this thing locks and seals, so no humidity gets in there. But I can bring this right over here, mix my salt, slide it back out of the way. I think it's pretty friggin' awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, adventures in uh, learning how to build a saltwater reef tank. Have a great weekend, folks.